growing up, I've just always really loved art and making things. And I guess I just want to make things that people can wear. I guess I really want to do kind of just like streetwear. Like I really grew up loving the 80s and how like, you know, they just put everything together every day. Like I grew up all over Australia. On my mother's side, it's Wiradjuri. And my father's side, that's Gunner Kona. Like community and family are like a major part of who we are. Everyone would live near each other and everyone would visit each other all the time and we'd all hang out together. I'd wake up and wake all my cousins up and then we'd all go down to the towns to buy like hot chips and we'd go to the park. If you'd walk around the shopping centres, there'd always be like that group of people following you to make sure you wouldn't like steal anything. Or like some of the kids would like leave a park if you like rocked up to it. And I guess it's just them being told they're probably not good people to hang out with. There was like a couple of those kids, you know, who were like, you can only do this and you know, you're only good for that and just like real nasty things and you just feel like, well, where is this coming from? My mother and father have always told me, you know, like somebody says something, you gotta stand up to it. I was talking to this person one time and they're like, don't you get like heaps from Centrelink? It's like, I'm not even part of Centrelink. Why would you even assume that? I feel that like communication and education is the only way that you can actually break down those things. I'm very proud of who I am. I think it's important to have cultural connections. I also think it's good to have like something to pass along. But it doesn't mean like I'm gonna go wear like Aboriginal patterns all the time, feel that I'm only capable of this. I don't want things to be a big achievement purely because of my race. Like that's why I was really happy into getting to fashion because it's like, it was just on my efforts and my achievements in what I was doing in textiles. Like media wise, you don't really see anybody Aboriginal that are doing big things unless you know, like they're a football player or a rugby player. There are many of us that are doing big things, but just because you know you don't see it on TV doesn't mean it's not happening. I guess I'd like to make like formal wear as well. Like a lot of aunties have been like, Oh, you see, you're doing fashion, and they're like, Yeah, can you make me a dress? Because you know how they have like native ball and everything, and if people ask about it, they can be like, Oh, yeah, Sky made it. He's a card.